Hi guys and welcome to Carping Forever UK with Scotty P and you join me today in my first episode of How To Carping. Um, you join me in my back garden. Today we're going to cover solid PVA bags and how to tie them. I'm also going to show you the rig that I use when I'm uh, using solid PVA bags um, and I'm also then going to show you how to set your rod up yeah, so that you have rig tubing on instead of um, a lead core lead on, yeah? Um, so we're gonna start by stripping down the rod, right? And get that ready to put on the, um, the rig tubing, which I have some in my pocket here. I'll show you. Yeah, you want a good length of rig tubing to put on there. All right, so we'll get that done now. So as you can see, I still have my lead core leader attached to my main line. So it's attached by a loop to loop. So I can bring that closer so you can see. Yeah. And then all you do to get that undone is push it back down on itself and it will start to loosen off the knot just as you can see there, it's starting to push through. There we go. Just like that, it comes undone. And I slide that up. You pass the leader back up the main line, like so. You then take the leader from the other side, thread it back through the line, and then it will just simply slide off of the end of your main line. As you can see there, I've got two totally separate bits. So I know that this knot will not pass through um, the rig tubing. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to cut my main line. Yeah, don't want to cut it too short because obviously you don't want to lose main line. Yeah. Get the scissors down there. All right. You then take your rig tubing on your main line and you attempt, then you just thread it through down. You thread your main line down the rig tubing all the way until it pokes out the other end. This is actually going in quite nice and smooth. Doesn't always go in this smoothly. There we go. And it's now, as you guys can now see, my main line is now poking out the other end. Perfect. And again, just tie a simple overhand loop knot which I'll bring it over closer so you can see what I'm doing so tie a simple overhand loop knot big enough to pass my PVA bag through the loop so that should be big enough Go around it, around your finger, back through, making a figure of eight loop knot. Yeah, just like so. Pull it all down tight. Before you get to the actual tightening of the knot, make sure you spit and wet the knot down. That's it. Pull that all nice and tight there just like so all right probably heard of a lot of people referring to tag ends this is your tag end yeah that's the bit just tightening it up a little bit more okay that's the bit you're going to want to cut off yeah So we simply just take the scissors and trim down the tag end. 
And that is your rod ready with rig tubing on the main line. I'd normally suggest that I'd put a little bit more rig tubing on, which I will do for the rest of my rods. Um, I'm going to redo this one anyway. This was just uh, so I could show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, I'd normally say around about a metre of rig tubing would be sufficient uh, for decent sized carp. All right. Anyway, I'm now going to move on and uh, let's have a look at the rig that I use when I'm doing PVA bags. Right then guys, so uh, we're gonna now tie a PVA bag rig. Yeah, so um, now you can use whichever company or material you prefer, I suppose. Um, but I'm gonna use, for this video, um, Fox Camotex Soft, yeah? It's a soft coated braid, which means it will be a little bit more supple be able to you know find the contours of the lake better and and also the same within the PVA bag once it melts so we're going to take about a good what's that it's about four five maybe six inches all right I'm just going to cut that off there just like that Right, so we're going to start by creating a hair. So we're going to strip some of the braid off, which is easy enough done. Should be more than enough. Right. I'm going to create a little loop, just like so. Yeah, we're just going to create a hair, hair rig. Yeah. I'm just going to spin that over there. Like that. Now, this can get a bit fiddly. So I've got it wrapped around itself there just to make a little loop knot. I'm gonna take my um, baiting needle. I'm gonna shove that through my loop that I've just created. And I'm gonna trap it with the other loop and pull that one through just like so. And just pull it nice and tight. There you are. So you've got something just like that. Yeah. Right, next we're going to trim the tag end, just like so. Have a good pair of scissors, these need sharpening. Like I said in my last video, I've still not got round to doing it. <laughs> then I'm going to attach my bait for this uh, demonstration purposes. I've chosen um, a lobster slime pop up from the Tor Baits range. Right, get a boily stop. So I just got myself a little boily stop there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I'm gonna poke that through my little loop that we created. Pull that tight. And I'll pull that through into the boily so it traps it in there like that. Sorry, pop up, not boily. I'm then gonna take my size six barbless uh, Nash Fang X hook, all right, and I'm gonna thread, yeah, that way, I'm gonna thread the line through the back of the eye of the hook, 
yeah? I'm gonna pull that into position where I want the boily, uh, boily, pop up. So just around about, so it's in line with the curve of the shirt, the curve of the hook, yeah? That's where I want it to stay. And we're gonna go seven times, wrap down the shank of the hook. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna go back through the back of the eye of the hook again, just like so. Yeah. So you're left with something very similar to that. Yeah. Right, next thing is we need our pulling tool. I'm gonna hook that over the end of the hook. Yeah, don't pull too hard because you might bend the hook out of shape. And you're just gonna pull nice and tight, wet the knot, pull nice and tight. So it pulls down on the shank of the hook. Yeah, that's not going anywhere now. We're gonna take a bit of shrink tubing. You can get this from most tackle shops. Um, I got mine from Amazon, it's slightly cheaper. Right, so we're just gonna cut the shrink tube in to the size that we want. I would say that's probably about ample. Yeah. Put it there a second. So we've got a bit of shrink tube in, about that, about that big. Right. We're gonna place that down the hook link, down to the hook, and place it over the eye of the hook, covering the knotless knot, and trapping some of the hair, yeah? So we're just gonna go steam that down. Now we've steamed our hook link. So what we're gonna do now, and probably what I should have done at the beginning, is strip the braid back so that I can get my kicker on, because what I've found, so what we're gonna do is, instead of using putty, I'm gonna use a BB shot, yeah. So I've got myself a shot there, a little lead weight. I place that roughly where I want. Pop up to sit. It's a bit high. Move it down a little bit. Oh, I've done that up a bit tight. So then all I've done is just crimp that on as you would normally, yeah, to my hook link. Right, and as you can see, I've just added a little bit of dark matter putty around the ball, uh, ball bearing shot. So now all that's left for me to do is to tie quite a big loop knot, yeah, so that I can pass the pop-up and the hook through the loop, yeah. So we just do the standard loop knot that I showed you earlier. Slightly larger. Uh, look for me baiting needle. Always do it with a baiting needle. I just find it so much easier. There we go. That is about roughly about the length I want it. I'm going to trim that tag end. 
And then we're gonna go see what it looks like in the water. So that's our hook link. It just screams carp. Right, so then guys, we're at the, uh, well, I call it my little test tank. Um, always like to test my uh, rigs before I put them out in the, in the lakes. Um, I think it's an awesome idea, I think we all do. Um, you know, so we can see how they are set when a carp is going to come along. So, as you can see, a little bit of putty and the BB shot is holding that down perfectly. And my pop-up is just popped up about, what, an inch, inch and a bit off of the, off of the uh, bottom. Yeah. Right. So now we're going to stick it in a PVA bag. Right, so then guys, we're gonna start, right, with showing you how I thread my um, hook link onto my weight, my lead, with the PVA stem insert. So, as you can see, there's a little O-ring there. We're just gonna thread the hook link through, yeah. We're gonna bring the uh, pop up and hook up. We're gonna hook that over, just like so, yeah. As you can see there, pull that down, nice and tight, yeah. So that is gonna be our lead and hook, hook link. So here's my PVA bag that I'm going to use for demonstration purposes. Uh, it is slightly bigger than what I normally use. Um, I normally use Castaway PVA and I believe they're um, 80 by 130. Um, I get them from Castaway PVA Hertfordshire. Um, so what I normally do is I take the top of the bag even on my other ones, and just trim it down. I'm gonna trim this down a little bit more than normal. Trust it not to bloom and do it. Right, now I've got some more aggressive scissors. I'm gonna continue where I left off. So, as you can see, I have started. I'm just gonna to continue to trim down the bag at the top. Yeah. Sorry if my fingers are in the way, guys. So then I have that from the top of the bag. Yeah. And then I'm going to open it up and rip it. I'm then going to use that right at the end i'm going to use that to seal my bag up at the top right so so i'm going to take my hook link no i'm not sorry guys i'm going to take a scoop of my boily mix my boily powder my crumb boily mix that good shake around, yeah. And I'm then gonna place my hook link down into the bottom corner. Now, what I'm gonna show you now, what I do, is, if I can get it, is I'm gonna push my pop-up and my hook down into that bottom corner there. Need to maneuver it a little bit because it doesn't want to play ball today. Right. 
that's a little bit better. Right. So then, yeah, I just manoeuvre it as I want it. Down in that bottom corner there, as you can see. Yeah. And then I'm just going to pull it back through the PVA bag. So my hook is going to stay there while I'm filling it. Yeah? And that's that. Right, next, we're going to open this one so that's ready. So next, we're going to take some small 2mm pellet and fill that up into the bag. So it's like that, yeah? I'm gonna do that over that actually. All right, then some, I think they're either four or six mil, I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna put them into the bag, like so. Give it a good shake down, yeah. Now what I'm doing is with the little ones, the little pellets, is filling up all the little gaps in between the big pellet, yeah, taking all the air out of the, the PVA bag because we don't want any air left in there, really. Very light, minimal. So I'm gonna put some more boily crumb, some more small pellet, and some more larger pellet. Give the lead a good, stoke it down a bit. Yeah, see we can fit some more in there now. So we'll leave that open, put some more bigger pellet in. A little bit smaller. And then all I'm gonna do to top the bag off is put a bit of boily crumb in there as well. Okay, and there we have it. That's our final product, if you like. Give it a good shake around. There we are. Then all we're gonna do is bury the lead in the bag, like so. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the edges and bring them in and I start twisting. Maybe force it all down a little bit more. Yeah, so all I'm doing is I'm compacting that bag right the way down, getting rid of any air that may be in there. Then I get my PVA string, I get it wrapped around the bag a few times, there you go, I'll stop that there, right and then all I do is tie a quick granny knot that locks the bag off Just lock it tight with another granny knot, just like so. Right, as you notice, it's all a bit untidy at the minute. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tidy it all up. And I'm just going to cut around. the actual PVA stem itself, not to cut it, and not to cut my fingers either. There you go, give it a good trim off, so you can get your main line through. 
through there. Yeah? Alright, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to make it more aerodynamic. Yeah? So I'm going to start with this side. I'm going to push the corners in. Yeah? Give myself some room to work. I'm going to pull them up. I'm going to get the fold where I want it. All right. Yeah, and then I'm going to give it a good lick. Pull it over to where I want. Hold it with my thumb just for a few seconds. Leave it to stick. Now, as you can see, that bit there is because of the style of the bag. Not a very good bag. Um, so I'll just lick that again and fold that down. Leave that to stick. Yeah? Just like that. There we go. Right, next. This side, exactly the same process. I'm just gonna push it all in. Yeah. Pull it all out, pull the bag out so I've got the corner. I'm gonna fold it over to where I want it. Yeah. Good lick. Hold it down with your finger or your thumb for a few seconds. There you go. And then tidy it up. Just like so. And then there we have it. Lovely solid bag presentation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get the uh, tester bucket again and we're going to have a look and see what this looks like in the water. Dun, 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 dun. The tester bucket. So called because it's clear. Um, right, so the first things we're going to do with your PVA bag, yeah, is there is still going to be some air trapped inside there. Right, and what we don't want is for it to get to the bottom and then just float upwards. Yeah, so we're going to pierce some holes in it. Yeah, all the way around. Make sure you've got plenty of holes for the air to escape through. There we go, I always overdo it. Right, so let's turn that around so you can see better. There we go. So let's place this in and see how it will look on the bottom of the lake. There we are. Let's move in. See the PVA starting to melt. And there's the boilie. The pop up. Just come up. And sat lovely just as I wanted him. You can imagine Mr. Carp comes along, sees that pile of bait right there like that, goes, mmm. Right, and lastly, guys, all I want to show you is just how to attach the PVA bag now. You've got it ready made yeah onto your main line so as you can see there there's a nice little loop there right, nice little eye that I can pass my main line through yeah so I get my loop make sure I can pass it through there we are and that goes over the PVA bag 
Over the PVA bag, just like so. Yeah. And then, just like before, I'm just going to pull it down nice and tight. There we go. And that's it, all attached, ready to go out. Right, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, please like and subscribe to my videos for more content. I am going to be doing a few more how to's. Um, coming up in the future uh, I'm gonna be doing another um, Carpin Forever UK with Scotty P on the bank um, at Nash Lake uh, over in Royston so that's gonna be enjoyable um, like I say I hope to see you all very very soon hope you've enjoyed my video hope you found it very helpful leave me a comment in the uh, section below um, and yeah Tight lines, everyone.